Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today we will solve problem 16 of chapter 9 of Fundamentals of Physics. Ricardo of mass 8 kg and Carmelita, who is lighter, are enjoying Lake Merced at dusk in a 30 kg canoe. When the canoe is at rest in the placid water, they exchange seats which are 3 meters apart and symmetrically located with respect to the canoe's center. If the canoe moves 40 centimeters horizontally relative to a pier post, what is Carmelita's mass? Okay, here I, I already draw the very schematically, of course, the canoe and Carmelita and Ricardo. And the first thing is to choose a reference to the, pos the position. So I choose, it's not important the, where you put your reference. I, ch I choose my reference to put it in the second, in the second node, in the back seat. So here we have our reference of position. Let's draw it in a dashed line. So here, here we have. Here is our reference of position. The x direction is here. Okay, this is the initial situation. Then Ricardo and Carmelita will, will exchange the position. So let's copy our drawing here then we will have Carmelita will go to the position where Ricardo were and Ricardo goes to the back seat so we have this situation when they moved the canoe also move the canoe with respect to the our reference, we go 40 centimeters here in the right direction. Of course, the forces involved in this movement are only internal forces between Ricardo and the canoe and Camelita and the canoe. Therefore, the center of mass of the, the system will not change the position because there isn't any external forces forcing the, the exchange, provoking the exchange of the position of the center of mass. So if you calculate the center of mass in the first situation and in the second situation, we can say that these positions are the same and we will find Camelita mass in this way. So let's identify here uh, with a, an index Camelita and Ricardo and the canoe. So let's say Camelita will be one. Here we have Ricardo two and the canoe three. So here we have two, one and three. And let's calculate the center of mass. The position of the center of mass will be the x position. 1 divided by the total mass, that is m1 plus m2 plus m3. And here we have the position 1, which by the mass 1, mass of the Carmelita, plus the position of Ricardo multiply the mass of Ricardo plus the position of the canoe's center of mass that is in the middle of the canoe, the position of the center of mass of the canoe multiplied by m3. Let's use our numerical values so we have we will have 
1 divided by m. Here we have, as we choose the back seat as the position uh, in the initial or the position initial position of the the our reference and Carmelita is here in the initial position the position of Carmelita the initial position of Carmelita will be zero so this you want to appear in the first situation so you have the position of Ricardo that is three meters because our x is exactly in the position of the back seat and the distance between both seats are three meters so the position of Ricardo is three meters multiplied by the mass eight kilograms plus here is the position of Ricardo I'm using huh? the position of Camelita of course is zero plus the position of the center of mass of the canoe that is 1.5 meters because in the center of the canoe and here we have 3 meters so we will have here 1.5 multiplied by the mass of the canoes that is 30 kilograms therefore the center of mass can be written as let's use our calculator 3 times 8 plus 1.5 times 30 208.5 divided by the total mass as I already mentioned the position in the first situation the position of the center of mass and the position of the center of mass in the second situation will be the same so we can write that the position of the center of mass that is 208.5 divided by m equals the center of mass in the second situation that is 1 divided by the total mass multiplied by the position of Ricardo the position of let's start with x1 the position of Carmelita will be 3 meters because is the position between is the distance between the seats and plus here this distance is the amount the boat change the position that is 40 centimeters so here we have the position of Carmelita will be 3 meters plus 40 centimeters multiplied by the mass of Carmelita M1 this is our unknown plus the position of Ricard here is the 40 centimeters here we have 40 centimeters so 0 0.4 meters multiplied by 8 kilograms plus the position of the center of mass of the boat is 1.5 plus 40 centimeters that is 1.9 multiplied by the mass of the canoe 30 kilograms we can cancel the total mass and we will have 208.5 equals 3.4 m1 plus let's calculate here we have 0 0.4 times 8 kilograms plus 1.9 times 
after kilograms. Eight nine kilograms. Therefore, the mass we want to know will be two hundred eight five minus eight nine divide by three point four. 57.6 57.6 kilograms this is the mass the Carmelita's mass simple problem but interesting and that's it the problem is solved.